So if you have decided to become a content creator, I'm so proud of you. But there are many skills you have to learn and this is not to discourage you but to encourage you that you are going to gain a lot of skills becoming a content creator from video editing to thumbnail editing photo editing graphic design public speaking script editing or script writing search engine optimization a whole lot to unravel when it comes to becoming a content creator but don't worry, you're already making progress by watching this video. And I hope by the end of this video, you learn a lot about video editing and you can start editing your videos. What's up, one billion gang? It's Divine and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, a big shout out to you for being the first person to watch this video. And also like this video. <laughs> so after filming your video, editing is like icing on the cake. It's the packaging of your video compared to the true cake, which is inside the icing which is your film what you already filmed your work you've filmed editing is packaging it so that people can enjoy it and can look attractive and presentable to people i won't tell you i'm a pro editor because everything i've learned about editing i learned by myself i've been on youtube for over two years now and yeah it's a lot so i hope i teach you how to edit and you become my student <laughs> so students first thing you need to do is to create a folder the reason why it's very important to organize when you're editing is to save you from stress and from losing your work. As an editor, I have lost a lot of footage. Until today, I still lose footage, but it's far better than when I started editing. Your, your brain, your intellect into work just for you to just lose your work. That is crazy. So the first thing you need to do is to create a folder. So name the folder after the project you are editing. The title of this video is how I edit my YouTube videos. So I will name the folder how I edit my YouTube videos. This is going to help you when you are filming your video. So you know oh, all these clips, all this footage is under this folder. All this footage is under this particular project. I'm going to keep on saying project because when it comes to editing, most of the time editors call your video footage or project. This youtube video that i'm shooting and you're watching is a project so the next youtube video is another project so you save your folders according to projects in each folder you will have two types of videos listen so your first type of video is your arrow your arrow is what i am shooting now just plain video clip of me sitting down and talking or explaining just the main clip that is going to be talking the main video that's what arrow is doesn't matter when i'm sitting down but the main video that is going to scroll on your video editor that is your arrow so you are going to have a folder for arrow inside your project folder second type of clip your b-roll don't get confused just focus you'll understand this your b-roll is what you are going to overlay on top your arrow so that it can make it more interesting so you see all those effects all those things that pop up when i'm editing like text like stickers like videos playing in the background like this as i'm recording that is what we call b-roll and the reason why you need a lot of b-roll is to help your viewer understand what you are saying better and for it to be interesting because guy we don't want to watch boring clips except maybe a emma chamberlain now before i move to the next part of editing i want to give you some big tips i don't think youtube has shared the first tip is for you to understand that you need to record your points in clips so now this first point i'm saying i'm talking about folder and footage so i'm going to record in a first clip or two clips that's how you should record don't record the whole thing in one footage like then you have 30 minutes footage to edit in a cup no you record bit by bit so your editing process is less stressful sorry about that my um my led light battery got there. another tip i have for you is to get an external storage whether it is a flash drive or your laptop or something else you can save footage a memory card because you don't want to lose footage and you really need to back up footage because you might need them in future when you're editing honestly organizing this video to edit it is one of the craziest things to do because there are a whole lot to say when it comes to video editing but i really hope from the depth of my heart that this video helps you to start editing if you understand the difference between a roll and b roll i'm going to explain even deeper and better so you start editing with a roll and b roll so when it comes to your a roll clip before you add your b roll you should first of all rough cut rough cut your rough cut is when you slice out your arms your butts your breath 
<laughs> like Mr. Beast. Put your inventory between the money and the tank. Give me 10 minutes and that white car will be right. I here. mean, you have five minutes. You slide out pauses in your video. Slide out unnecessary things that you don't want to, to feature in your video. So that you don't lose audience retention and focus of your story doesn't lose its depth. When you are doing your rough cuts, there are other things that some editors might say to spice up your rough cut, like transitions. Transition is taking you from a scene to another scene. The most popular way to edit your hero cut, and what I use the most is jump cuts, where I just slice out like to the next clip, to the next clip, like cutting, cutting to the next clip. When Nigerians say fast, 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 fast. In real life, I'm not talking like as if I'm a robot. When I'm editing, I can cut out those pauses. It is called rough cuts. Before you keep your B roll clip or your A roll clip, I will advise that you rough cut it separately before adding it to your timeline. So, what is a timeline? In your editing software, when you have a timeline, is when you start editing a video. So, your A roll starts your timeline. So, before you add your A roll on top of your A roll, make sure you separately edited your pauses and you have your rough cuts. Another tip I have for you is when you are editing your B roll clip, so you are taking notes so you know where to put B roll some editing software they have markers where you can just mark i know at this point i want to add something at this point i want to add something but if you are just using your phone and you don't have a marker or you don't have a laptop take your notes take your jot and your pen write out places you want to put b-roll so you know i have to go and research for this b-roll or i have to film this b-roll to make my editing even interesting b-roll is your primary clip or your main clip b-roll is your secondary clip when it comes to secondary clip we're not just adding random things that don't correlate with what we're trying to explain we're adding footage that makes your story come alive first type of overlay or b-roll i like to add is videos just regular videos it could be the 16 by 9 video which is your youtube format where the video is overshadowing what i am saying and the a roll is not showing the background or it could be the 9 by 16 clip where i'm showing and illustrating something so that i am still in display and i'm showing the viewer what i'm trying to explain another type of b-roll i like to add and capcut provides a lot of stickers so if you go to your text feature you see a lot of stickers you can add that can illustrate and make it more aesthetic and pleasing to your viewer still explaining your story and making this come alive i've always wanted to give a big shout out like a very very big shout out to my elder brother because he's the one who got me this microphone he's the one who got me my previous tripod stand and he has done a lot for me so a big shout out to joshua and a big shout out to you because i know most of the people that are watching this channel came from my first channel thank you for sticking with me thank you for supporting me thank you for subscribing for liking my videos and commenting it means a lot to me i sincerely really appreciate you for sharing my videos to your friends even when i don't even know you physically thank you so much i really appreciate you so another thing that is b-roll that you could add when you're editing you could track your text in CapCut, you can track your text you could change the font of your text if you want the font to suit your branding tracking your text your text is following what you are tracking i'm tracking my finger the text is following my finger if i'm tracking my face the text is following my face wherever my face is going so that's tracking these are different things on, on that bureau you could add to spice up your editing now i'm going to be telling you other things that some creators or editors will call after effects i'm telling you other after effects you can add to edit your video first thing i love to use a lot when i'm editing and if you've watched any of my videos you know i use a lot of sound effects the reason why i use sound effects is to emphasize what i'm saying so that i can get back the focus of my viewer capcut has a lot of sound effects and that's the reason why i left you cut for capcut on my phone so i can save those sound effects and use them later instead of having to search and google then download them another after effects is voice changing effects so i could change my voice to get deeper i could change my voice to get tiny i could change my voice to echo it's the voice effects the voice effects i use a lot is echoing because i like echoing when i want to say something funny or when i want to say something sarcastic so whatever works for you on that voice changing effect and if you don't want to you don't need to change your voice another after effect is video effects i use this a lot when i want to create a scene or i want to just make the video more aesthetically pleasing under cap cuts you have different video effects from how to open your scenes how to end your scenes make something funny there's this zoom effect there's this lens effect there are different effects you can video effects you can use just to emphasize <coughs> just to emphasize and explain your points next is music of course if you know i sing 
I love music. Like I'm not a music musician, musician, musician. I'm not a musician, musician. Is it musician or musician? I love music, and when it comes to video editing, music, music makes videos come alive. Depending on the video, it's not every video that needs music, and your music has to flow with the video you are trying to tell. So, on YouTube, there is something called copyrights. If you don't want the owner of your music to claim your money when your video gets monetized i will tell you to avoid copyrighted music like celebrity music but if you're not into making money from youtube no problem you can get any music you like but for me i want youtube to be one of my income streams i use non-copyright music and i get my non-copyright music from youtube or thematic sounds you can use it for free or you can subscribe some people use epidemic sounds but I use thematic sound because I'm not paying for anything now because I don't want to pay in any monthly subscription or nothing. But if you want to pay and to save you the stress to even search for sound effects, you could use all those different platforms. Another popular after effect is voiceover. So I could record a voiceover when I'm doing a tutorial. A lot of people who are into beauty and fashion use a lot of voiceovers. I rarely use voiceovers because I use voiceovers more on Instagram and TikTok than YouTube because I don't feel a long form content is very interesting with voice. I'm not, I'm just <gasps> not every time. That's just me. But you could use a voiceover, record a clip, then voice over the clip. Yeah, that's a voiceover. That's literally what voice over. Other things I use when I'm editing is memes. I use a lot of BTS memes because I'm not the biggest fan of BTS, but I really enjoy their memes and I feel like it's actually brighten up people's day when they watch their memes. So <laughs> i insert their meme clips when i'm trying to emphasize something funny in my video or just to get back my audience retention i download my memes from youtube using gen yt please don't use that website except yeah 18 years and above gen yt.com another after effect i use is stock footage stock footage is basically bureau but bureau that you did not film by yourself bureau that you downloaded from elsewhere so i get my stock footage from pixels.com because i could get free stock footage from there and like i said i'm an economist i'm not spending on anything yet till i start making money from this youtube <laughs> if i cannot film b-roll that i want to insert in my youtube video i'll just go and check on pixels.com and research then i download it then or sometimes i'll just use google.com i could just download a photo that doesn't have watermarks on google that illustrates what i'm saying let's say i need a pencil i could download a pencil photo then use it as a b-roll in my video give it movements that's simple b-roll another thing i started implementing this year in my video is camera tracking so i could zoom in using this overlay effect like i could use this diamond overlay effect so i start and end the scene by zooming in and zooming out or i could use the video effects zoom zoom out option or i could just use the camera tracking option so that like the camera is moving with me another thing that i'm trying to do but i'm not i'm not the best at it i have friends male friends that they are very this is their specialty color grading color grading is adjusting the temperature brightness the ex the exposure the contrast so that it becomes more aesthetically pleasing but i'm not the best at it but the more you do it the more you develop yourself another thing that i use but not every time basically but i still use them is green screen so the green screen effect so you see like green screen is when you try to cut out something so like if you see all the superheroes movies is green screen titanic is green screen they were not really inside the sea they were not inside the sea so green screen is like change i could change my background with green screen i could literally do that with green screen if you have a green background it might not be your physical background but it could just be a photo that has green i'll show you when i'm editing you could cut out something in that photo because of that green background that is easy to use VAR when footballers are playing because the football pitch is green. So green screen can help you cut out some things. Yeah, like Photoshop. Another tip I have for you because I've been made it to this part of this video. If you made it to this part of this video, please comment 
content creator in the making it's long but yeah you are, you are the content creator in the making and i wish you will as you made this part of this video put your favorite yellow emoji in the comments at the end of content creator in the making a huge tip i have for you when you are uploading your video on youtube make sure that you export your video on your desktop instead of uploading your youtube video from your youtube app on your phone upload it via your web browser desktop on your phone because if you want to upload your video in hd or 4k because if you just upload your video in sd format then your video is going to drop in quality even when you are exporting on CapCut, make sure you are exporting your video to high quality if you are using an iphone 4k resolution 180 times 720 resolution if you are using an android because if you upload in a lower quality it's going to drop the quality of your video and you don't want the quality to drop because if the quality drops i'm telling you because of it affects me too if the quality drops then people are not even going to want to watch it because the quality is not good Hi, please, sorry. Please. Please. i still don't have a camera i have a laptop but i, I still edit more on my phone because it's faster to edit on my phone because i film on my phone so i edit on my phone so it's it's faster i even have two channels now so it's crazy so i just wanted to know that you can start content creator eh, creation you can start content creation <laughs> you can start content creation even now with your phone just your phone you can save this video to your watch later so you can always come back to the video and take notes so you can start using this video to edit your videos make sure you subscribe because i'll be putting out more lifestyle content on this channel and if you haven't already make sure you like the video physically and not emotionally and don't let anybody discourage you this is 2024 you can do it if nobody believes in you i believe in you and you should believe in yourself yes Hello.